Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Adobe After Effects and I'm gonna show you how to remove any object or person from a video. Let me show you, here's the original video. I'll hit spacebar, you'll see this lady on a paddleboard doing her thing. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that layer off and watch this. Here is the second step where we've deleted or removed her from the video. And then with this one, she's been replaced by, well, just more C. So if I hit spacebar, it's gone ahead and replaced it. it. hasn't done a perfect job. You can still see it if you really look carefully. Uh, this is using content to wear fill where uh, in uh, Photoshop, there's now generative, uh, generative fill, which is a lot better. But for video, this is still pretty good. I'm gonna show you how to do it all from scratch, step by step. Let's delete everything and start fresh. All right, starting from scratch here, After Effects is open. First step, go into your finder grab the video you want to use i've gone ahead and grabbed this one if you don't if you're not on a mac you can go into explorer they're this pretty much the same thing drag and drop your video into the project panel now grab that video and drag it and drop it over new composition and presto we've got this composition here of this lady doing her paddleboard thing now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to grab this little blue dot or this blue little uh, line and i'm going to reduce the size of this video to two seconds basically i'm trimming the work area to two seconds the reason why is because i just don't want to you know once i show you the technique you don't want to see me and watch my computer render everything out here so i'm going to go ahead and go to composition trim comp to work area so now i'm just working with about two seconds worth of footage okay now the next step is we're going to go up to window here and we need to make sure that content aware fill right here has a check mark beside it when you do that it should open up your content aware window or your content aware fill window just like this. All right, now it's opened up. Now we're gonna get to work. So what I'm going to do now is making sure you've got the video selected. I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna click on this triangle and I'm just gonna go ahead and open up all of this stuff here. What I want to do is I want to create a mask around the image object that I wanna replace. Here we go. I'm gonna grab this pen tool and I'm gonna draw a rough mask around her just like this. And also note that I have my playhead at the beginning. You can have it anywhere, but it's usually easier at the beginning or the end. So playhead at the beginning, draw the mask. Okay, good. Now, again, we're gonna go back down here and I'm gonna go ahead and click on masks. And you'll see here under masks, it'll say mask one. It should be set to add as default. What I want to do now is I wanna set that to none for the moment. And the reason why is because we're going to be animating the mask path and it's easier to animate it when you can see everything in the background. So we've set it to none. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on this stopwatch or toggle right here and I'm gonna click on mask path and you'll see here now that we are going to animate the mask path. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move this mask path ahead a few seconds to right about, let's say right about here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a few points and adjust the points here. So I'm just gonna move it kind of around her. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be pretty good. And then I'm gonna move forward a few more frames. I'm gonna move it again, just kind of keeping her in it. And then I'll show you a second technique at the end here so we can move individual points or add points as needed. So it may or may not be necessary depending on the type of video you're doing. So here we go. I'll move it down here a little bit and then at the end, let's see what we got. Something like that, yeah, whatever, we'll just move it like this. Now, that said, if I click on the mask, click out, and then I'll click on mask path, I can click on my little pen tool, and when I hover, you'll see here that you'll see a plus sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a path so I can go ahead and click in here and start moving paths as needed. If you need to do that, this is not necessarily required, but I'll just show you the technique as is to make sure the mask is around her. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. Okay, so now that we've got that done, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the mask and we're gonna switch it from none to subtract. This will start to look a little bit better to you. You'll start to realize what we're going and what we're doing here. I'm gonna move the playhead back to the beginning and I'm just sort of scanning it to make sure that I don't see the lady and the paddleboard at any part. And that's fine, we're looking good here. The next step is you get three options for generative or content aware fill. Not generative fill, that's not out yet. Content aware fill, you'll have probably objects selected by default. However, you can select surface or edge blend. I can, they're all pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch it to surface, but do keep in mind that if you don't get it right on the first time, you can toggle through these and regenerate the layers. Also, I'm gonna make a subtle lighting correction. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on generative fill. And when that's done, I'll come back and show you what we got. Okay, welcome back. So this is what we got and the fill method of surface and I also should have mentioned alpha expansion. You can adjust this as you see fit. Think of it as sort of your feathering. Let's move ahead, play head to the beginning. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Not gonna lie, that did a pretty darn good job. It doesn't capture the subtle motion in the water, the ripples and the shimmering, but it does a very good job. And lastly, keep in mind, if you don't get the look you want, Adjust the surf, uh, adjust the fill method. Try edge blend. Try object. Change the lighting and change the alpha expansion. And eventually, you should get something that's pretty serviceable. Thanks for watching.